What up, y'all? Today I got myself some food from the number sixth highest ranked restaurant in Seoul on TripAdvisor out of 26,589 restaurants. This is from a place called Gusto Taco. Some of you guys might have even heard of it, and it's uh, Mexican food, as you can probably tell by now. Um, I picked this up for a pretty hefty price, about 37 bucks for everything. I got a burrito, I got four tacos, two of them are like chorizo and two of them are pork. And also picked me up a Dos Equis, which I haven't seen or had in, I, you just, it's not really something I see around here. So I, it's been one of the longest of minutes, so I had to pick me that one up as well. And uh, everything is looking really good. Now, you know, these days I ain't capping. So, um, well, I've never been capping, but, you know, I, well, I've always been keeping it real, but these days I'm not capping, you know what I'm saying? So... So, I gotta say right off the bat, I have a memory of eating this before. Now, I it, this was years and years ago. And again, no cap, I don't remember what it was on, I don't remember what I got. Uh, I remember it being good, but, um, and, and, I'll be, and like for real though, it's not even 100% certified memory, so I'm pretty sure that I've never tried these things before, and especially, and 100% never had it on a video on my channel, so. Let's get into this beer real quick. This is, this is uh, man, this is gonna be real nice, I bet. Cheers. Oh, that's really good, man. Really liking that. All right, let's get into the food real quick. So, I have two pork tacos over here and two chorizo and egg tacos. These are not looking like what I expected them to look like. Let me just start off with the pork taco. And I'm just going to show you this, try it out, show you this, just go down the line. So I, I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. Um, by the way, the reason I got tacos and burritos is because uh, people were hyping them up on the TripAdvisor and, uh, and also the tortillas. So I wanted to try all those, uh, get a good mix of that. Their delivery menu wasn't that large. I'm not sure if it's different at the actual restaurant. Anyway, pork taco, let me show you what that is looking like. Give you a quick close up now. They don't tell me what kind of pork this is, but uh, they just said it's pork. So this looks like some kind of like carnitas that has been grilled up on the flat top into like, just to like crisp it up and heat it up again, perhaps. Um, this is a bare bones taco. So they did give me a couple of things to add on to it. Um, I assume this is just some sauce down here, some taco sauce, their own blend, or I'm not really sure. They also gave me this. This looks pretty cool. I think what you do, kind of do something like that, bend it. Oh, damn it. Luckily, they gave me two. And then you can use this as a little spoon to add your salsa and whatnot. You got to be adding, so some fresh Pico de guy looks like. We got some sour cream here. I'm gonna put some cilantro on this bad boy right here and top it off with some of this hot sauce. That's looking much better than it was before. Let's go in for a bite. And I might be a little bit harsher than usual. Might not be, I don't know. Let me just, raw, real reaction going in. Really good. Number worthy of number the number six spot. Can't rip off the first bite. Really good to me. Just the flavors. The flavors are on point. You can tell that there's some TLC in uh, a lot of these flavors. Now I gotta say though, the carnitas or the pork. I've had juicier, much juicier. Now. I don't see no juices flowing. I mean, if you really like kind of a juicy taco with the juice spilling out, uh, that's not what I'm experiencing here, I can't lie. Not being said, the flavor is, uh, is on point. And I kind of like the fact that it is such a clean eat, that's just me.
Regardless, really good stuff right there. Really enjoyed that. Flavors were amazing. Flavors are mighty fine. I've had juicier carnitas, though, I just gotta say. I'm not sure if that has something to do with the fact that they grilled on the flat top or if it's just a delivery thing or what that is, but uh, I can't lie. Little slight tinge of disappointment there. But again, I'm being real picky. On to the chorizo and eggs. Now this, the visual on this is disappointing, man. Now, there's multiple types of chorizo that I've had in my day. There is Spanish style, and then there's Mexican style. And this, to me, looks much more like Spanish style. Looks like, uh, you know, like a pepperoni sausage that has been cut up and cooked. Now, the chorizo that I'm used to in Mexican food is uh is ground up like i don't know it's like super greasy and ground up and it's just completely falling apart this is not it i'm not sure if they are doing some kind of fusion technique with this or uh or what what's going on here there are also uh, peppers on here and eggs which you know i i like that combo i've had the uh, old school you know chorizo and eggs but with mexican style chorizo i'm gonna go in for a bite with uh with no sauce because I feel like there's a lot more to this. This is literally just the pork, but this has more things to to add some flavor, texture, and uh, and some juiciness, perhaps going in. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. All right. All right. Real interesting to me, right off the bat, much juicier than this. So uh, you do have you do have that going for you. I am still gonna add some stuff to it. Um, the flavor is nice as well. And it's almost like, I don't know if this is handmade or homemade or whatever, but the vibes I'm getting from it, it's like a mix between Mexican style chorizo and Spanish style chorizo. I'm not a chorizo expert by any means, but those are the kind of vibes I'm getting from it. Um, so someone will have to let me know. You know, I'm, I'm sure, like I said, some of you guys probably really mess with the spot. I think it probably has a lot of loyal fans. Uh, but yeah, going in for this bite right here. Mm. Flavor on point, flavor mighty fine. One of the biggest standouts to me so far is the tortillas. So I don't know how you wanna take that. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Uh, let's get into this burrito now. This burrito is a beef burrito. <clears throat> and smelling and looking pretty good. Here is one half, decent amount of heft to it. Looks like uh, there's something here some lettuce or something but looks like there's a lot of rice looks like there's a good amount of meat and either cheese or some kind of sauce uh maybe a cheesy sauce i see a bean poking out let's get into this one uh stir it up for the first bite okay yep yep okay yep i'm just taking it back because you know how long it's been since I've had good Mexican rice? It doesn't really exist here. I have yet to see it until now. Still haven't found a spot that's serving up good refried beans. Not not a one. Um, but this spot, let me let me go in for one more bite. Mmm. -hmm. I know it's in burrito form. I'd have to try it plain, perhaps. Best Mexican rice or Spanish, whatever you want to call it. Um, best Mexican style rice I've had in Korea, hands down. Not even, not even close. I would say. It's they they nailed they nailed it in my opinion, and I'm quite happy about that. I ordered this, uh, and then I was looking at the menu while it was on its way. And I saw that they did have a side option for rice and beans. So they do have beans. You couldn't really add it easily, but you had to go through a different side menu or something. But anyway, 
I do want to try their beans at some point. So, you know what? I think I will be doubling back here at, uh, in the future. And I might do that, uh, get the beans. And some of, try some of the other stuff in a video in the future. So, uh, let me try this right here. Mm. Mm. Yep. For me, one of the top burritos I've had, just based on the fact that like there's other decent burrito places that sell burritos, but they like it. It ticks me off because some of them just mess up the rice. Really bad, in my opinion. This right here. It's like light. Uh, you would think it would be super dense, but it's like super light and kind of... The, the texture that you're, I'm looking for in Mexican rice is never that sticky, dense texture. It's the opposite. And yeah, this is... So what's standing out to me most is the, is the rice here. All around a solid burrito, decent amount of meat. Not a mind blowing amount or anything. Mm. Really good stuff though. Not a huge fan of them cutting in, in half, or they should at least give you the option. And also, there should be an option for cheese on these tacos. That's not a deal breaker. Like, I like tacos with cheese. I like them without cheese, if they're good. See, cheese could, could definitely help or save a bad taco. But with a good taco, it, it won't, like, save it or anything. But it could, uh, well, it won't, like, it's not a crucial element. But it definitely can add to it, even still. <clears throat> definitely not a deal breaker, though. I'm just going to go ahead and... Fix all these up right off the bat, just so I can dig in. Um, after trying everything though, <laughs> have I been to six better restaurants in Seoul throughout my time? I mean, yeah, yeah, I I'd say so. You know, people who are doing reviews on TripAdvisor, excuse me, a, a lot of them are probably here on vacation, not here for very long. And so they're not really sampling uh, all these different spots, you know what I mean? So I can see why this is up there in terms of like sort of Mexican food in Korea. Small sample size, only, you know, a couple tacos and burritos, but I would say it's like top six that I've had. Some elements are definitely like probably up there like top one, like these tortillas. The rice. Those are probably right up there in the, in the top one category, but... Um, and everything else is, is pretty close, I'd say. The flavor of these is sure bomb. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna save this one for last. Last bite right here. So from what I've had so far, I'd say, hmm, these will probably hold the top spots. This one's coming in second.
price wise that's another thing that is a whole nother thing it's a little bit expensive you know what I'm saying if you're coming traveling from a spot that has good Mexican food <clears throat> I, I honestly, I don't know if I would like, dude, you gotta check this spot out. Wouldn't say it. Especially if we're only here for, you know, a week or two, like, nah. If you're here for a lo little bit longer than that, a month or two or long anything longer than that, yeah, definitely worth checking out. Living in Korea, one thing that you start missing real fast is Mexican food. That's for damn sure. But yeah, overall, been a little bit over over critical perhaps if this wasn't rated so high and i was just eating it i'd probably have a much different reaction can't can't even lie because this is really good it just going into anything with such high you know such a high standard that's been set it's tough real tough So I am curious about other things on their menu. A couple more things they had is uh, quesadillas, they had nachos, and they had taquitos. Maybe I'll work some of that into a video in the future, but for now, tacos, burritos, what I think what they're most known for. Well, they're called Gusto Taco, so. You better have some damn good tacos. They had, um, so you can only, the minimum order is like twos. You can only buy them in twos. They have probably five more different options. I think there was fish. They had, uh, I think they had like tofu, like vegan option. There were vegetarian options. They had beef. Um, but like two tacos, like you can only get them in pairs. And they cost like eight bucks for two. So I wanted to get a, I would have gotten a full sample size, but uh, like that would just be too much for me. I'm thinking about... I'm going on a little rambling session here. You know, one thing I hate more than anything is wasted food. Which is one reason why like, I don't do these crazy big spreads, smorgasbords of food. Because either I'm going to like just really start hating myself trying to eat everything. Or um, I'm going to just end up maybe throwing it away. Especially if I'm doing, you know, excuse me, three videos a week. Because... I want to eat, go out and be able to eat like a normal person at least half the time, right? Uh, so, it's a dilemma. I've been thinking like, what if I did like one, what's, what would be better? Three, you know, regular, you know, average videos per week or one blowout video where I get per week, where I get just a, some crazy smorgasbord and eat a little bit of everything and then just save the rest and eat some of that, you know, when I'm just chilling on my own time. And so I don't have to throw things away. I don't know, but something I'll be thinking about. Anyway, last bite here. Cheers. Mmm. That carnitas has so crazy a flavor. So crazy of, of a, like some crazy flavor, y'all. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to skate out of here. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in that next video. Peace.